Welcome, welcome. Come on in, Georgie Green, Wanda White, and Perry Plum. Is everybody ready? Thanks a lot for coming. What are those envelopes for? Yeah, I love the colors. You invited us here to play some dumb game, didn't you, Bradley? Shh. I invited you here to play a game, and you are exactly right, Michael Mustard. Green's my favorite color. Hmm. So, does anyone have a clue? Clue? Clue what? Ah, I'm glad you asked, Peggy Peacock. Inside your envelopes contain clues that lead to a big event. Open your envelopes. In this room, you'll see a face. It will tell you the time, but not the place. Mine says the same thing. Guess we're going together. Hungry? Why wait? Go get a snack and find a date. Mine says the same thing. Well, it looks like it's just you and me, babe. Well, what does it say? If you want to find success in victory, you will have to congregate in this facility. What's all this for? You all have clues that lead to a bigger mystery. This is really cool. Can we get started? Of course. When you find the answer to your clues, meet me in the hallway. calendar anywhere. Yup. <coughs> what was that? I guess they're called dates. Georgie, you're a genius. The expiration date is April 29th, 2014. Don't you see? I only see that dates are not tasty. Here we are, alone at last. Great, so it smells a lot. You don't like it? It's called Mystery Man. I would like to find the answer to our clue. Read it again. If you want to find success in victory, you will have to congregate in this facility. Congregate. That's a long word. I think we should go look it up. Okay. Congregate, gather into a crowd or mass. Oh, I see, like a congregation. 
There's an example link below that says Victory. Look at that! Victory Church has a large congregation. Do you think that could be the place from the clue? Looks like it'd be the place. Let's go tell the others. Good. Everyone's back now and we can discuss your answers. Wanda, what did you guys find out about the clue, the face? We saw the clock in the mirror and found the time stopped on five. And Perry, what did you guys find for the snack? Well, Georgia did not like those dates, but we noticed the expiration date on the bag was April 29, 2014. So that must be the date. Yep. Finally, what about your team, Michael? We found a place called Victory Church. You are all correct. April 29th, 2014, at five o'clock in Victory Church. What do you think this means, Sarah Scarlett? That an event will happen at the Victory Church? And on April 29th, 2014, at five o'clock? Yes, the 2014 Polk County Video Ceremony. That leads us to the biggest clue of all. Listen, there are important students who will be there too. So let's meet them all without further ado. The 2014 Students of the Year! Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the 22nd Polk County Public Schools Video Awards Ceremony. And let's begin by giving these wonderful actors under Mr. Robertson's direction a big round. Thank you. Thank you very much. And let's once again honor our 2014 Elementary School Students of the Year. And now, if you'll all kindly take your seats, except for the presenters for Category 10, we need you to come up here. Everybody else can go and sit in our audience, and we'll start our show. Live from Victory Church in Lakeland, Florida, it's the 22nd Annual Polk County Public Schools Video Awards Ceremony, featuring the creativity of over 5,000 students in 83 schools. We are able to showcase our students' work because of generous donations from the Polk Education Foundation, Apple, Bomar Trophy Shop, Camcor, Smiley's Audiovisual, Aki, Panasonic, Vista Audio, Victory Church of Lakeland, Nathan's Men's Store, Jim's Formal Wear, Encore Broadcast Communications, Publix Supermarket Charities, and now, your host for this evening, Instructional Television Manager, Dr. David Yates. Hello once again, and welcome to our 22nd celebration of everything that's right about public education here in Polk County, Florida. And I'd like to begin our celebration by asking, first of all, how many of you are here for the first time? Put your hand up. All right, thank you very much. And how many of you are returning veterans? Yeah. So if you're a returning veteran, lean over to one of the folks who's new tonight and whisper this into their ears. You have never been to an event like this one. <laughs> Welcoming to her first video award ceremony, it is my pleasure to bring up to our stage the superintendent of the Polk County Public Schools, Mrs. Catherine Leroy. How are you? I'd like to welcome you to the 22nd Annual Polk County Public Schools Video Award Ceremony, and I'd like to give you a few statistics if you don't mind. This is my first attendance, and I'm very excited to be here. 
This year, we received approximately 523 entries from 67 different schools, representing approximately 5,000 students, which is very exciting. This event showcases technology-infused, project-based learning at its best, with opportunities for groups of students for, uh, to have the opportunity to gather information and think critically. ITV teaches students life skills like collaboration and teamwork, digital and information technology, and literacy, writing, critical thinking, problem solving, and creativity. The judges for this event come from other school districts from across the entire United States, college and university film and journalism programs, and media professionals. And finally, what I'd really like to do is thank the commitment of our teachers and our students um, for the time that's required for this worthy endeavor each year. Just as an example, and you may not be aware of this, we asked a, a number of schools how much time is spent um, working through the year on these videos. And as one example, um, they spoke about their short film. It took approximately 150 to 200 hours of work to complete with a cast of 20. Their anchor spent somewhere between 50 and 75 hours putting together their videos of, and then planning, filming, and editing. And their music video, video was a collaboration of about 80 to 100 students working together as a team and involved over 100 hours of putting this project together. As one of our teachers stated, the video awards continue to be one of the greatest motivators for students to jump into the world of media productions and learn to think, develop, create, lead, and discover the meaning of excellence. Thank you and welcome. Thank you very much, Mrs. Leroy. And now we'd like to also welcome to our stage the school board member from District 1, Mr. Hunt Berryman. Kindly join us. Thank you. The school board member from District 3, Ms. Hazel Sellers. From District 6, Ms. Deborah Wright. And from District 7, Mr. Tim Harris. And the Assistant Superintendent for Information Systems and Technology, Mr. Abdu Tajuri. If you're one of our school-based administrators, guidance, deans, principals, assistant principals, please put your hand up. I want to personally thank you on behalf of all of our students for showing the vision to know what a good program can mean in your school. If you're one of our teachers here tonight, kindly put your hand up. Thank you, teachers, for your commitment to excellence. Yes, thank you. Thank you for your commitment to excellence, your untiring dedication to all these folks. If you are a parent here tonight, kindly put your hand up. Thank you, parents, wow. <laughs> Thank you, parents, for trusting your children's education to us, for providing them with a nurturing, loving home, and perhaps most important to our teachers, bringing them early and picking them up late from all of the activities that we do at ITV. And now, finally, if you're a student, don't put your hand up. I want you to stand up, because this night is about you. Thank you very much. You are going to see on these screens some amazing student work. As Mrs. Leroy said, examples of technology-infused, project-based learning where you give kids a chance to create. And we're so proud of what our schools have done all across America with our judging. Well, there's one young person that I'm particularly proud about. Ten years ago tonight, Jason Bent, a George Jenkins High School senior, stood on this stage, there's young Jason, accepting the award for best high school documentary. He went to Carlton Palmore Elementary and then Lakeland Highlands Middle School and then finally where he did his best work, George Jenkins Sr. Jason went on to earn a Bachelor of Journalism degree at the University of Missouri. He's worked at 
two different television stations before recently, lucky for us, relocating in our own area. He is now the producer of The Morning Show on WFLA Channel 8 in Tampa. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome back Mr. Jason Bent. Thank you. It's good to be back. Are you all nervous? Excited? Excited nervous? I know I always was when I was your age sitting in these seats. This is an amazing night for you, a very special night. This is an amazing program that you're here for, not just tonight, but the television program in every one of your schools. The technological resources and opportunities it provides is outstanding. For a public school system, it's one of the very best in the country. I know that after attending the University of Missouri and going to school with people coming from all over the country. It allows you to go in whatever direction you want, whatever interests you most. I was always interested in the news side, producing a daily newscast, as many of you all do. I now work as a news producer at Channel 8 in Tampa, previously in Kansas City and Baltimore. One of my best friends growing up and still to this day loved editing. He now makes commercials that many of you all watch at home, working for Bright House Networks in Tampa. Another former classmate at high school loved film. She just spent the last couple of years producing a documentary about the founder of Publix, George Jenkins. Some of you all might have gone to see it. It played at the Polk Theater last month, called Mr. George. And another former classmate loved working on computers. He now has his own business here in Lakeland doing just that. News, film, commercials, computers, and so many other avenues that you can go, all stemming from the passion that we developed from this program growing up at such a young age. And the material, the projects that you all work on all year, it's incredible how good they are. My longtime mentor and now coworker at Channel 8, Jennifer Lee, told me a few years ago, and Mr. Yates probably didn't even know this, but Jen told me a few years ago she came to the video awards and sat in the back just to watch the material that you all had worked on all year. Because previously she had known how good it was, and it lived up to those expectations. So you all should be very proud of what you all put together. It is truly remarkable. I know that many of you will actually be working in this industry in some way, shape, or form someday. Do whatever you find interests you the most. And congratulations to all of you for being here tonight. It's definitely an honor. Good luck. Thank you very much, Jason, and uh, it is so wonderful to have you back in our community. Jason's already told me that when we have our traditional fall and summer workshops, he will come and help us with those, and it's great to always have people from the industry who do that. Well, it's time to start the awards, and we begin this ceremony by recognizing all of our state and national champions, and we're going to include the secondary schools because without good elementary school feeder programs, our secondary schools would not be nearly as good as they are. So let's look at some of our state and national champions from this past school year. Congratulations, Spessard L. Holland Elementary, Jim Harbin Awards. Je Jewett Middle Academy, the highest scoring middle school in the Jim Harbin Awards period. Lake Gibson Middle, Stambaugh Middle School, and just look at all the awards. How about Jason's alma mater, George Jenkins Sr., Winter Haven Sr., had the highest score for any high school in the state of Florida. So right here in our county, we sweat both middle school and high school honors. And we're very proud of what our schools have done in these other competitions, but we're here focused tonight on what you entered in our competition. As Mrs. Leroy said, our 
judges are from all across America. They are from other school districts. They are television station personnel. They represent colleges and universities. So we have a really diverse evaluating panel, and you'll meet some of those folks on our stage tonight. Our first award for tonight's ceremony is our most improved school. And if I can get Mr. Tim Harris to come up, and Maestro, if you'll kindly give me a drum roll. And we would like this school to come down to the front, please. We add up all the points from all the categories, and this is the elementary school that had the greatest improvement over last year. Okay, Tim. And as we all want to improve every year, this school certainly has, and that most approved goes to Dr. N. E. Roberts Elementary. All right, N. E. Roberts, come on down. And they'll be coming across. All right, congratulations. Any e. Roberts, here they come. And now Mr. Robertson is going to present a special award. Um, Mr. Robertson is my colleague in the instructional television department, and a few years ago came up with what I thought really was a brilliant idea. I attempted to steal it, but I have to really give him credit. Um, what he said was, instead of our department designing the covers of our video awards program, let's have a contest among our schools to do that. And he supervised the uh, judging of that award. And Mr. Roberts, again, please, Maestro, Mr. Roberts is going to tell you who designed our cover this year. Michael? Congratulations to Summer Navarro, Sleepy Hill Elementary School. Come up and get your poster. All right, Summer, come down. All right, you can go ahead and give them there. Thank you. All right, we have for Summer a poster size. Where's, here comes Summer being escorted. Our escorts tonight, ladies and gentlemen, are the cadets from the Lake Gibson High School, J-R-O-T-C Corps. There we go, Summer. We gave her a poster size. Unfortunately, uh, Summer, we can't give you a program just yet because all the winners are in here. So this is this year's elementary school. Yeah, she'd go out back, probably make a lot of money, don't you think? Yeah, $5, and I'll tell you. But it's like Christmas morning, and we don't want to do that. So thank you very much. Summer Navarro of Sleepy Hill Elementary School. Now we move on to our 10 categories, and you're going to be seeing some short videos on our screens uh, that much in the style of our opening video are performed by school, schools and students from around our district. Again, under the brilliant direction of Michael Robertson. So gentlemen, let's show the category intro video for category 10. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I guess you need a clue. A clue to what, you say? Here is your first clue. I'm king of the world. E.T. Phone home. I'll get you, my pretty, and your little dog, too. Lights. Camera. Action. Do you have re entry yet? It's almost time for Category 10, where schools present their best short films. Okay, this is Category 10, Short Film Elementary School. Our students of the year are the presenters for every category. They will be opening the envelopes telling you who the winners are. So now if we can get Mr. Jonathan Hoyos of Winston Elementary, Ms. Carla Guzman of Wendell Watson Elementary, and Ms. Ariana Awusu of Spessard L. Holland. While they're receiving their awards and their accolades from the school board and the superintendent, we will meet on our big screens the nominees for Best Elementary School Short Film. Category 10, Short Film. The nominees are Elbert, Tying Up Loose Ends, Southwest, Kid Principal, Philip O'Brien, Kelsey's Colorful Crayons, Spessard L. Holland, After Hours, Lena Vista, Butacular Bow Factory, 
Okay, Maestro. All right, Jonathan, Carla, Ariana, let's tell these folks who had our best elementary school short film. Everybody. The teachers are having a party? scary being at school all alone. Whoa, the pencils are sharpening themselves. Where's that noise coming from? Get out of here. I wonder where my file would be. All right, congratulations, Professor Holland. We are so excited to accept this award. We want to especially thank Ms. Butler and Ms. Cress for their continued support of the Gator News Network. And if, and of course, we want to thank our parents for helping us um, success. Thank you. Thank you very much. We'll go back. Two times two equals four. How about Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow? Beh. On to the next category, we shall go. It's all about the clues, you know. So here's a few more. Math or science galore. History? Is it a mystery? No, it's simply another category. Academics promotional. Each of the schools that's represented here tonight produces a daily news show. And in our judging rubric, we specifically encourage them to promote academics every way that they can. And so this category features some of their best work. These are 60-second promotions of reading and math and science and English and so forth. Our presenters are Miss Lindsay Campbell of Southwest Elementary School, Miss Cameron Baker of R. Bruce Wagner, and Miss Kaylee Ferguson of Purcell Elementary. And now while Lindsay, Cameron, and Kaylee are getting their awards and medallions from the superintendent and the school board, let's meet the nominees for best academic promo. Category nine, academic promo. The nominees are Chain of Lakes, Little Free Library, Alta Vista, Aliens on Vacation, a book trailer, Albert, 
Punctuate your sentences. Spesser L. Holland, Reading Accelerate Success. Brigham Academy, Focus on Instruction. Dr. N.E. Roberts, Measuring Our School's Sidewalks. Purcell, Read One Million Pages. Caldwell, Historical Fiction. R. Bruce Wagner, Score with Reading. Gibbon Street, Finding Perimeter. Sleepy Hill, Word Problems, Key Words. Philip O'Brien, Maggie the Math Magician. Lena Vista, The Evolution of Writing. Dundee, Art in Education. Southwest, A.R. or Mars. Highlands Grove, Fun with Opposites. Juanita, Reading Takes You Places. Blake Academy, Put a Cap on It. Cleveland Court, Math in Action. Drum roll, maestro. All right, Lindsay, Cameron, and Kaylee, let's tell these folks who had our best elementary school academic promo. And the winner is Southwest Elementary. to read. When you skip reading a good book, your brain gets bored. When your brain gets bored, it finds other ways to entertain itself. When your brain finds other ways to entertain itself, you build an atomic neutralizer ray out of paper clips and rubber bands you found under your desk. When you build an atomic neutralizer ray out of paper clips and rubber bands, you accidentally shrink the principal to the size of a crayon. When you shrink the principal to the size of a crayon, there's no one left to protect the school from invading aliens. When there's no one left to protect the school from invading aliens, you end up having to live on Mars. If you don't want to end up living on Mars, read your AR book. Congratulations, Southwest Elementary School. We are so excited and we are happy for what we do for our school. Are you? Yes. <laughs> Good job. All right, congratulations. Yes, for our elementary school. <laughs> I was minding my own business, working a case, and she walked in. Do you investigate cases? Well, I'm already covered in clues, lady. Um, which clue should I pick? Stick to the facts, ma'am. I want to know more about the Statue of Liberty and why she was chosen to represent freedom. You mean, like, did she model to be the Liberty Lady? Yes, I want to know how I can get involved. Well, you need a documentary, not a PI lady. What's a documentary? Watch this award-winning video and you'll see. This is Category 8, Documentary, and I would like to invite back up to assist in the award presentation Mr. Jason Bent, who, as I explained earlier, won this category as a senior at George Jenkins in 2004. And our presenters for Category 8, Ms. Jasmine Jones of Philip O'Brien. Mr. Jamar Wiggins of Oscar J. Pope, and Mrs. Dontrenice Henry of Lewis Anna Woodbury. And while Jasmine, Jamar, and Dontrenice are getting their awards, let's meet the outstanding nominees for Best Elementary School Documentary. Category 8, Documentary. The nominees are Kathleen, The Health of Earth in Our Hands. R. Bruce Wagner, It's Gardening and Beyond Hydroponics. Albert, What's the Matter, Cafe. Spessard L. Holland, Take Care of Your Pet. Cleveland Court, Red Ribbon Fun Run. 
Auburndale Central. Kindergarten visits the fire station. Sleepy Hill, SPCA, Florida. What's it all about? Blake Academy. Swans of Lakeland. Caldwell, into the Holocaust. Journey through the past. Lena Vista, giving helps us all. Drum roll, maestro. All right, Jasmine, Jamar, Don Trenise, tell these folks we had our best elementary school documentary. And the winner, winner goes to Bree Bragner, Wagner Elementary. Have we been invaded by another life form? What are these white buckets? And hey look, they have plants growing out of them. I wonder what's going on and what kind of plants they're growing. Hmm. I believe second and third grade STEM can help us out. Let's go check with them. This is Emma from Mrs. Amy's class. Emma, are you growing aliens out here? No silly, it's a hydroponic garden. Hydroponic garden means water working garden. Hydro means water, Work and ponic means working. I see. The plants are growing in the white buckets without any soil. How interesting. Thanks, Emma, for being with us today. My pleasure. Now let's talk with Brady. Welcome, Brady. Now, how did all this happen? He started out putting this black mat down so the weeds wouldn't grow up into the, the plants, so it wouldn't kill the plants. Well, then he put the water tank down so the water would run through all the pipes and then get the water into the, all the plants so they would get the water. And there's also nutrients in the water. Next, he put these through the pipes so they would hold the plants. Congratulations, R. Bruce Wagner, best documentary. Thank you so much for the best documentary video award. I love the fact that our school does the news show and that I could be here tonight with all of you. Thank you so much. I'd like first I'd like to thank Miss Miss uh, Miss Hurst, Miss Stein and Miss McDonald for all their support and tutoration. Finally, I'd like to thank the people who put the time, effort and money into this event. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> There once lived a beautiful princess. And this princess was happy with everything a princess would ever want. But there was this evil princess who was jealous of the beautiful princess. She would do anything to stop the princess from being happy. Why, you ask? Because she loved causing unhappiness. So we have one happy princess and one evil princess. These are the clues that you need to make up the rest of the story. Like the videos in our next category, Creativity Games. All right, this is category seven. If you do a Google search about 21st century skills, I guarantee you creativity will be included in the list. We as a country have a long and a rich tradition of creative entrepreneurs, creative artists, creative writers, you name it. And I don't think we can do enough to encourage our students to be creative. So we have a category that's devoted to creativity. What we tell every school at, in the first week in February is, here's the plot. You need to make a video in just one week's time. And this year, our plot was, you have to have somebody in the school who wants to be the best at something, but there's a villain lurking in the wings trying to keep you from getting there. And they had to make a five minute video and send it to us. So here we go with Creativity Games. Our presenters are Mr. Tyler Faulkner of Lena Vista Elementary. <laughs> Miss Kyla Daughtry of Lake Marion Creek Elementary. And Ms. Germaine, Mr. Germaine Anglin of Horizons Elementary. And now while Tyler, Kyla, and Germaine are getting their awards, let's meet the nominees for Best Elementary School Creativity Games. Category 7, The Creativity Games. 
The nominees are Blake Academy, The Art of Confusion, Alta Vista, The Aggravated Reader, Spessard L. Holland, The Plight of Being Healthy, Socrum, Trash, Sleepy Hill, Master of Distraction, Southwest, My Magical Best, Philip O'Brien, Be a Buddy, Not a Bully, Dr. Any Roberts, The Most Starbucks Ever. Drumroll Maestro. All right, Tyler and Jermaine. Let's tell these folks who had our best elementary school creativity video. And the winner is Philip O'Brien Elementary. Thank you. So keep yours up. exciting award. I would like to thank my studio teachers, Ms. Shields and Mr. Camoni, and all the studio crew. And of course, my parents. Thank you. All right, congratulations, Philip O'Brien. Best Creativity Games. Agent Q, your mission, if you choose to accept it, is to find out who's been lurking in the studio. Hmm. Two sets of footprints leading to the studio. Two microphones. Two scripts. This is command. Any luck? Yes, ma'am. I think it is some kind of announcing team. Good work. Report back to HQ with your evidence ASAP. The announcing team category's winners will be announced in three, two, one. All right, now we arrive at the anchor categories. Category six is anchor team, five is female anchor, and four is male anchor. These categories are judged by television stations across the U.S. This year from a station in Colorado Springs, Colorado, and Charlottesville, Virginia. And by the way, the people running those stations are graduates of our district. Yeah. Now, they're not allowed to judge themselves, of course, because they went here, but they help us line up anchors and reporters in the stations who do the judging for us. 
to assist in the presentation of awards, I would like to invite up at this time uh, Mr. Nathan Smiley. Smiley's audiovisual has served our schools for many years. Smiley's is a longtime sponsor, and the trophies that these young people will be receiving were paid for through a donation from Smiley. So, Nathan, thank you for joining us. By coincidence, Nathan is also a 2004 graduate of Jenkins High School. Now, as you hear your name called out, it means that you were named outstanding anchor team, and we want you to come down to the area in front of the stage here, and I'll talk a little more in a few minutes about what's going to happen then. But our presenters are Ms. Dela Vilsaint of Highlands Grove Elementary School. Is your name Delia? Delia, excuse me, Delia. Miss Rose Burgett of Griffin Elementary. And Miss Kara Scarborough of Elbert Elementary School. And now while Delia, Rose, and Kara are getting their awards, let's meet the nominees. And again, come down to the front. The nominees for Best Elementary School Anchor and Reporter Teams. Category 6, Announcing Team. The nominees are... Philip O'Brien, Anya Bogdanova and Kelsey Redemar, Blake Academy, Kylie Peterson and Lauren P.A., Loftman Oaks, Caitlin Bruckner and Tristan Campbell, Gibbon Street, Haley Brown and Deontay Landrum, Wendell Watson, Julia Mastrantonio and Lisa Leontis, Cleveland Court, Kiana Bell and Isaiah Ortiz, R. Bruce Wagner, Ellie McLeod and Megan Franks, Spessard L. Holland, Emily Geis, and Ariana Awusu, Brigham Academy, Kennedy Chambers, and Alyssa Anda, Dr. Inni Roberts, Kayla Camp, and Ashley Anderson, Lena Vista, Addison Burgos, and Kennedy Williams, Sleepy Hill, Yamari Negron, and Layla Daughtry, Garner, Cassandra Valier, and Chastity Reddick. All right, if you've never been, this is the exercise part of the show. Exercise is good no matter what your age is. So what we are going to do is exercise because we're going to stand up and we are going to salute the finest elementary school anchor teams in the USA. <laughs> Ladies, come across. And now, maestro, drum roll, please. We have everybody here. And now, Delia, Rose, and Kara are going to tell these young people who are going to come up onto the stage who had our best elementary school anchor team. And the winner is Cleveland Court Elementary. On Friday, January 10th. We hope everyone has had a great first week of 2014. Many people make New Year's resolutions. A resolution is when you set yourself a goal to improve yourself. Our Cleveland Court resolution is to read to succeed. So keep reading, Cougars. Kiana, we can read right now while Chef takes over with what's new on the menu. Thanks, Chef. Reading can be high-tech on an e-reader or tablet. Or you can read a book or a magazine. The great thing about reading is you can do it almost any time or in any place. Even if the power goes out at night, you can read by candle or flashlight. A rainy day can be Good a morning, great... Cougar. Today is Monday, December 2nd. Cleopatra and I are here to celebrate. That is right, King Tut. We're celebrating reading. Readers are leaders like us. And you can find many wonderful books in the Reading Oasis. Reading Oasis? What's that? The book fair, of course. Ah, uh, yes. The book fair is a wonderful bazaar of knowledge. I think they even have cookbooks. Chef will want to check those out. Let's see what's cooking in the Cougar Cafe today. Thanks, Chef. Cleopatra, what are you reading? I'm reading my new book about you from the book fair. 
Fascinating. Oh my, I wonder if they have any books on ancient creatures. I'm sure they do. They have tons of books on everything. Well, I'm sure many smart, smart explorers will venture there. Speaking of explorers, I think I see one over there. Archaeology, mysteries, adventures, all exciting topics. No matter what you like, you're sure to find the book you enjoy at the Reading Oasis. How exciting! It is exciting books, games, prizes, and so much more. Well, we hope you have a magical Monday. And remember, read to succeed. Bye. Good morning, Cougar. Yeah, after break. We would like to thank the District ITV Awards Department and the judges for this honor. We would also like to thank our principal, Mr. Lund and Mrs. Burgess, and our parents and families for their support. Finally, we would like to thank Ms. Given, Mr. Welch, and Ms. Haycock for all their hard work every day to make the magic happen. Clues, clues, clues. I've been thinking all day about clues. If only I were articulate. If only I could speak clearly. If only I could be enthusiastic, versatile, and have more personality. Wait a minute. These elements are the clues to great announcers, like these female announcers. Okay, it's time for the ladies to shine, and we're going to do exactly what we did for anchor teams. As you hear your name called out, please come down to the front. Our presenters for category number five, best female anchor, are Chastity Reddick of Garner Elementary School. Cameron Ryland of Garden Grove, and Deontay Landrum of Gibbon Street. And while they're getting their awards, let's meet the nominees for Best Female Elementary School Anchors and Reporters. Category 5, Female Announcer. The nominees are R. Bruce Wagner, Jasmine Weeks, Alta Vista, Meredith Smith, Chain of Lakes, Paige Horstman, Caldwell, Ashanti Vega, Gibbon Street, Kylie Holder, Elbert, Kara Scarborough, Wendell Watson, Jada Singleton, Cleveland Court, Kayana Bell, Garner, Madison Meyer, Blake Academy, Ifoma Ihai Okahala, Dr. Eni Roberts, Marissa Thiel, Spessard L. Holland, Alexis Finley, Brigham Academy, Hannah Holden, Juanita, Jamie Rulo, Churchwell, Kylie Weingarth, Sleepy Hill, Jaina Sanchez, Lena Vista, Macy Davis. All right, let's give the elementary folks a chance to here they come down to the front. Are you nervous? All right, you know the routine. Ladies and gentlemen, Madam Superintendent, members of the board, it is my honor to present to you the finest elementary school anchors in America. Okay, Maestro. All right, Chastity, Cameron, Deontay. Let's tell these anxious young people who was our best lady announcer and reporter. And the winner is... R. Bruce Wagner Elementary.
Hello? Hey there, Eros. What? You're sick. Sure, I could do that for you. What are friends for? That was my friend Eros. You know, Cupid. No, not Santa's reindeer, Cupid. The god of love. He's asked me to take his place this Valentine's Day. Poor little guy. I hope we do a good job, because for a little guy, he sure does a lot. According to myth, Cupid is the son of Venus, the goddess of love. He's usually shown as a cherub, a childlike angel. It is said that if Cupid hits you with one of his arrows of love, then you'll fall helplessly and madly in love with the next person you meet. Mom! Where did I put my wings? Oh, right. I got my wings. I'm almost ready. Oh, this? Well, sometimes Cupid wears a blindfold. Why? Because love is blind. I'm excited to be recognized as female solo reporter. First, I would like to thank my mom and dad for always supporting me. Mrs. Hurst, Mrs. Moran, Mrs. Stein, Mrs. Charlet, Mrs. McDonald, and Mrs. Parrish, thank you for encouraging me to do a great job and believing in what I could accomplish. And last but not least, I would like to thank my WKPN peers. It has been a fantastic year working with all of you, and I can't wait for next year. Thank you. I'm looking for voice inflection. La 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 la. Eye contact. Looking directly into the camera. Clarity. The rain falls mainly on the plane. And of course, a sense of humor. Knock, knock. Who's there? Boo! Boo hoo! Don't cry. It's time to see this year's best male announcers. All right, it's time for the guys to shine. And I'd like to ask Miss Kathy Smiley of Smiley's Audiovisual and Mr. Brian Germany to please come up and assist in the presentation of this award. Again, Smiley's is one of our longtime corporate sponsors and provides the trophies for these young people. All right, our presenters are Miss Alexia Gardner of Crystal Lake Elementary School and Miss Shade Clark of Cumby Elementary. And while getting their medallions from the school board and the superintendent, let's meet the nominees who want to come down to the front, our best male announcers. Category four, male announcer. The nominees are Brigham Academy, Christopher Ellis, Alta Vista, Austin Rodriguez, Spessard L. Holland, Ethan McCabe, Elbert, Liam Evans, Chain of Lakes, Owen Boyce, Sleepy Hill, Kylan Saunders, Auburndale Central, Remy Severino, Gibbon Street, Deonte Landrum, R. Bruce Wagner, Carter Mays, Caldwell, Davis Benedetti, Cleveland Court, Matthew Mitchell, Blake Academy, Peter Cote, All right, let's give our guys a chance to get down here. Uh, looks like they're all here. Madam Superintendent, members of the board, ladies and gentlemen, please help me salute the finest elementary male anchors in the USA. <laughs> all right, Maestro, Alexia. Sade, let's tell these folks who was our best male anchor for 2014. And the winner is... Spessard L. Hollandale Elementary. Welcome to 
the television watching the Winter Olympics? Mine have. My name's Ethan. I'm here to talk about the highlights of the 2014 Winter Olympics. The Olympics started on February the 7th when fireworks exploded over the Olympic Stadium in Sochi, Russia. The Olympic flame was lit during the opening ceremony of 2014 Sochi Winter Games. The event kicked off two weeks of awesome competition. U.S. snowboarder Jamie Anderson became the first woman to win gold in the women's slope-style snowboarding event. Team USA skier Julia Manquiso won bronze in the women's super-confined event. This makes it her fourth Olympic medal. No other American skier has won that many in this event. American snowboarder Sean White congratulated the Switzerland athlete nicknamed iPod, who won the Olympics half-pipe final. iPod secured gold when he landed his signature move, YOLO, to head-over-heel flips and to 360 turns. It took 38 years, but finally the U.S. won gold in ice dancing. Meryl Davis and Charlie White became the first Americans to achieve that victory. The pair has been skating together since 1997, when she was 9 and he was 8. This concludes our 2014 Winter Olympics update, and keep on cheering our team! Go! We are so excited to accept this award. We want to especially thank Ms. Butler and Ms. Kress for their continu continued support of the Gator News Networks. And of course, we want to also thank our parents of helping us succeed. Thank you, and have a great night. Yeah. <laughs>
If you want to look cool when you come to school, tuck it in. Tuck it in. Gonna earn your spurs if you tuck in yours. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. If your shirt looks saggy and your pants are baggy, tuck it in. Tuck it in. You look like a mess when your shirt looks like a dress. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. If you want to look your best and represent Southwest, tuck it in. Tuck it in. When you're little in school, don't look like a fool. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. If, if you, you want to have power, power every hour, tuck it in. Tuck it in. At Southwest, you got to be the best. Tuck it in. Tuck it in. Tuck it in, yo. All right, congratulations, Southwest Elementary School. Our first shootout nominee. All right, Maestro, let's tell them who our second competitor is. Purcell Elementary. Come on down, Purcell. Scientific method is a tool we use to answer a question. Don't be fools. The six steps are all you need. Follow them and you'll succeed. Ask a question you want to know. Like how fast a turtle will go. Questions can be testable or not, it's true. Pick one that preserves them, measured by you. Research involves all types of media, from the internet to encyclopedia. Scientific method is a tool we use to answer a question. Don't be fools. The six steps are all you need. Follow them and you'll succeed. Hypothesis is my educated guess. I do research to make it the best. Start with the procedures to tell me what to do. Materials, variables, control groups too. Observations, measurements are what you record. Accurate data is your reward. Scientific method is a tool we use to answer a question. Don't be fools. The six steps are all you need. Follow them and you'll succeed. You analyze the data is no surprise. Create a graph you can see with your eyes. You share your results. With the conclusion, try to prove a hypothesis is no illusion. Changes to experiment, just a few, to build on what you already knew. Scientific method is a tool we use to answer a question. Don't be fools, the six steps are all you need. Follow them and you'll succeed. Word. All right, congratulations Purcell, the scientific method. And we have one more school in our showdown. Drum roll, maestro. Let's tell them who that school is. Number three, Spessard Hall Elementary School. <laughs> Thank you very much.
night. Congratulations, Spessard L. Holland. And now you'll see our text messaging system up, so get out your mobile devices and text. You'll see in a moment the code. Tuck it in if you think Southwest Elementary had our best music video. SCI method, scientific method, if you thought Purcell had our best music video. And Linksys, if you thought Spessard Holland had our best music video. And you can see the countdown timer and Maestro, if we can have some drum roll, there we go. And as you can see, our bars are dynamic, so they're gonna change as the time counts down. All right, congratulations, Southwest Elementary School, our People's Choice Award. And if someone from Southwest, because we need the rest of the team to stay here for just right now, but someone come up, student and teacher, there we go. The school board has a special plate in honor of your being our People's Choice. And now we're going to tell you who the judges chose. Sometimes it's the same school, sometimes it's not. Drum roll, maestro. And this school does need to come up to the stage, please. All right, are we ready? Caroline, Kylie, and Afia, ready? Tell them who had our best elementary school music video. And the winner is Purcell Elementary. Purcell would like to thank all the teachers that make Purcell ITV happen, like Mr. Harris, Ms. Shear, Ms. Minnell, Ms. Sidalongo, Mr. Coslow, and Ms. Nolan. Also, all of the students who are so dedicated in helping all the teachers work on ITV. We'd also like to thank our administrators, Ms. Nave and Mr. Williams, who support our program at our school. And of course, our awesome parents. Without them, we wouldn't be able to participate at all. Go Panthers. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Purcell. I sure am enjoying myself tonight. <clears throat> we have seen some wonderful videos tonight. <clears throat> I can't wait to see the next category. <clears throat> what is your problem? You won't take a break. You mean like a commercial break? Yes. It's time for all the best commercials tonight. All right, we are to the commercials. And I would like to invite our representative from Aki Up, Mr. Casey Burgess, who came in from Charlotte, North Carolina. And uh, we have Mr. Burgess and Aki to thank for the projectors that are being used in tonight's production. Thank you very much, Casey. Our presenters for Best Elementary School Commercial are Mr. Navante Donovan Banks of Caldwell, <laughs> Alyssa Enda of Brigham Academy, Tristan Campbell of Lothman Oaks Elementary, and Free Glover of Sleepy Hill. And now while they're getting their medallions, let's meet the nominees for Best Elementary School Commercial. Category 2, Commercial. The nominees are Dr. Any Roberts, Pirates Are Readers, Crystal Lake, Multicultural Night, Dundee, October PBS, Albert, PASS, Sleepy Hill, So Why Don't You Buy Yearbook, Wendell Watson, Let's Be Safe on the Bus, Philip O'Brien, 
Read for the Gold, R. Bruce Wagner, Black Thursday, Southwest, Lockdown Ghost Town, Lofman Oaks, Pirates Place Books Perfectly, Cleveland Court, Book Fair Reading Oasis, Chain of Lakes, Action for Alex, Spessard L. Holland, A.R., It's Not Complicated, Alta Vista, Pasta for Pennies Ninja, Combi, Combi Elementary Commercial, Gibbon Street, Cupcake Party, Lewis Anna Woodbury, Stem Derby, Lena Vista, The Annoying Can, Purcell, Steam, Brigham Academy, Brigham Book Fair, Juanita, Pop Pop Popcorn for Sale, Garner, Tigers for Tigers, Auburndale Central, Track and Field, Churchwell, Fuzzy Fun at the School Store. All right, Maestro. Okay, Navante, Alyssa, Tristan, Free. Let's tell these folks who had our best elementary school commercial. And the winner is Albert Elementary. Thank you so much. Guys, we're in a tough situation. Remember the big plan, the past plan. Remember what the coach said. All right, guys, this is it. This is what we have been working on all year. We got to get out there and give it our all. We got to have good behavior, show up to class on time, and listen to our teacher. We got to use the pass play. Who wants to win those bikes? I said, who wants to win those bikes? Yeah! <laughs> That's right. If you want a chance to win a brand new bike, you need to continually do your personal best to achieve. Your teacher will be keeping track of your efforts and enter your name into a drawing in May. Congratulations, Albert. Thank you all for the people that had all voted for this. We didn't have any clue. But we would thank all of our parents and everybody else. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Albert. <laughs> well, Miss Peacock, Professor Plum, well, it's Big Daddy time. You know what that means. It's when the rubber meets the road. Getting that horse to the water. Time to quit spitting in the wind. You all have heard clues all evening about every category. And what it takes to be the best. So quit sitting on the edge of your seats. Sit up straight. And come down to brass tacks. With the best daily news shows in this Hope County Video Contest. All right, we are to what we traditionally call at ITV the big daddy of all the categories. When our department started in the 1989-90 school year, we were charged by then Superintendent John Stewart and the board to create a new show in every school as the best way to communicate among the staff in the school and all the students in the school. So that was our first category, elementary school new show. And as you can see, we branched out from there and have added a lot of other categories. I would like to invite Miss Cindy Salitos up on our stage. Cindy uh, is one of our longtime judges, and I know she was on her way here. All right, she may be going to make it for the, the uh, secondary show. Cindy is one of the judges in this particular category. But our presenters are Miss Kaylin Powell of Blake Elementary Academy. Come across. Miss Sarah Freeman of Alta Vista Elementary. Mr. Alan Contreras Campos of Auburndale Central. 
and Mr. Jean Carlos Marte of Jesse Keen Elementary School. And while they're getting their medallions, let's meet the nominees for Best Elementary School News Show. And what we want is the ITV contact and the school student of the year to come down to the area in front of the stage when you hear your school's name called out. Okay, gentlemen. Category one, Daily News Show. The nominees are Dundee, Lewis Anna Woodbury, Garner, Lena Vista, Dr. Innie Roberts, R. Bruce Wagner, Alta Vista, Cleveland Court, Caldwell, Gibbon Street, Brigham Academy, Horizons, Churchwell, Islands Grove, Philip O'Brien, Spessard L. Holland, Albert, Wendell Watson, Juanita, Griffin, Sleepy Hill, Southwest, Chain of Lakes, Crystal Lake, Sand Hill. Okay, well, ladies and gentlemen, let's first of all congratulate all of these schools that achieved a score of 70 or higher on all of their new shows. So congratulations. We have three different levels. We have a very elaborate scoring rubric that looks at all the best elements of new shows. And we fine tune that rubric every year using other schools and also using our media professionals. So now we're going to call up onto the steps those schools that scored even one notch higher. They achieved a score of 80 to 89. We call that designation excellent, and our presenters are now going to tell you with a drum roll and perhaps a piano key exactly who that is. So we're ready with our first excellent school. Come right up to the steps, please. Sand Hill Elementary. And now our second excellent school. Churchwell Elementary. All right, Churchwell. And how about number three? Sleepy Hill Elementary. Sleepy Hill. And number four? Philip O'Brien. All right, Philip O'Brien, up onto the steps, please, now, if your school's designated outstanding. Okay, number five? Cleveland Court Elementary. All right, Cleveland Court. Number six? Horizon Elementary. Horizons. Number seven? Highlands Grove Elementary. Highlands Grove. Number eight? R. Bruce Wagner Elementary. All right, Wagner. Number nine. Spessard Holland. Spessard Holland. Number ten. We have lots of elementary schools, if you haven't noticed. <laughs> Whoops. All right, here we go with number 10, up to the microphone, and... Dr. N.E. Roberts. Okay, N.E. Roberts. And number 11... Alta Vista Elementary. All right, Alta Vista, up on the steps, and number 12. Lena Vista Elementary. Lena Vista. So congratulations, ladies and gentlemen. These 12 schools scored, like I said, even higher. They averaged among the three new shows that they submitted for the competition, a score from 80 to 89. But as they used to say on late night TV commercials, wait, there's more. 
because now we're going to tell you the schools that scored an amazing 90 or higher. And we have four of those schools, and our school board members are going to announce these, please. So let me see. We, for the first one, we need Miss uh, Deborah Wright. Miss Wright, if you'll kindly come up. Drum roll, maestro. If your school is about to be called out, come up and get your trophy. All right, Mrs. Wright. Chain of Lakes Elementary. Chain of Lakes, come up to the stage. Drum roll, maestro. All right, Miss Sellers. You have our next superior elementary school, 90 or higher, please. Brigham Academy. All right, Brigham. And Mr. Berryman. Mr. Berryman, you have school number three in our superior ratings. Garner Elementary. All right, Garner. And our final superior school we go with Tim Harris. Where's Mr. Harris back there? There he is. All right, Mr. Harris. They're anxiously awaiting your, our fourth superior school. And it is from Auburndale, Caldwell Elementary. All right, Caldwell. Please come up and get your trophies. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll help me salute, this truly is a remarkable achievement. We have so many good news shows that to even get outstanding, let alone excellent, or this unbelievable group of superior is really quite a feather in that cap of the Polk County Schools. Let's congratulate these superior schools. Thank you. Thank you very much, school news shows. Now we want to recognize two individual educators who've been with our program for 10 years, Miss Amy Cook of Garner Elementary School. Miss Cook, please come down to the stage. And Miss Pam Diaz of Albert Elementary School, who should have been not too far away because both of these schools won our, some of our new show designations. So here they come. They are now getting not only a nice plaque to honor their dedication to our program, but also an iPad. So thank you very much. Amy and Pam for your years of dedication to the students of Polk County. And now we're going to also recognize the media specialists and the network managers and the paraprofessionals in our schools who were teachers or school-related employees of the year. We work with all of those folks. Bonnie Gibbon of Cleveland Court Elementary, Brandy Reynolds of Eagle Lake Elementary, Rosemary Grubbs of Highland City Elementary, Gloria Wiley of Dixieland, and Trish Hardis of Winston Elementary. So congratulations on being named Teachers of the Year in your schools. And now I will call back up Mrs. Leroy for our most prestigious award. We call it Best in Show. We go through all the categories. We add up all the points that schools get. We'll have a drum roll. We will count up from the bottom. And then when we announce the winner, which Mrs. Leroy will do, we want that school and its ITV teacher to come down to the front, please. Okay, maestro. So here we go on our big screens. Congratulations to... Southwest Elementary, Sleepy Hill, Cleveland Court, R. Bruce Wagner. All right, Mrs. Leroy, who walks away with the finest trophy of the night, our best in show for elementary school 2014. It's Spessard L. Holland, yeah! I can't tell you what a wonderful honor this is, but you've seen the work of our students countywide. And to be able to triumph over wonderful programs like we have at R. Bruce Wagner and Cleveland Court and Southwest, 
uh, is quite an accomplishment. So congratulations, Spessard L. Holland. Is M Mrs. Butler must be here. Where is Mrs. Butler? She always comes. Where is she? They're pointing to her down there. A great ITV program, ladies and gentlemen. It begins with a, an administration that has a vision for the power of this medium. And from the first day this school opened its doors, Mrs. Butler and his staff, her staff knew exactly how powerful this medium is. So I want to congratulate you, Mr. Moyer, and your wonderful supporting group and your wonderful students. Congratulations again. All right. You can take that. Unfortunately, time does not permit us, as you saw, to show all of our categories, all of our winners in their entirety. So I strongly encourage you to watch them when they replay on cable if you didn't set your DVRs tonight, or to watch them when they stream over PGTV and over our school board channel. The program that you will be able to get as you leave now has all the replay times. And if you are amazed by what you saw on these screens, when you see them in their entirety, you'll be even more impressed. They really are phenomenal. And as I said at the start of the show, it is such an honor to show our students' work to judges across America. Well, we have all kinds of folks to thank. They're also in the program. You've met some of our sponsors tonight. Um, I definitely would be remiss if I didn't thank our new superintendent, Mrs. Catherine Leroy. These wonderful board members, they're here every year cheering you on despite the fact that you probably had, what, a thousand events to go to during the normal school year, sure. Uh, sure. Mr. Abdu Trajuri, who has been the head of this division, who has been personally responsible for empowering these young people with the technology it takes for, for them to be creative. Abdu, thank you very much for coming. The folks at Smiley's Audiovisual, thank you, Casey, for the great loan of the projectors. The Lake Gibson High School JROTC Cadet Core Vista Audio. And please, uh, let's have another hand for this remarkable <laughs> Southwest Middle School Jazz Band. And now, ladies and gentlemen, if you'll help us out, uh, we have packets for all the schools that participated that include some additional certificates and also uh, programs for the anchors and the TV student of the year and the teacher and the school. So they are available on the sides. If we can please get our, our house lights back up. Uh, schools that start the name of the school is from A to L. Please go out this side because your packets are on this side, right outside there. Uh, and if your school starts from M to Z, please go out this side. And we kindly ask that no one exit from the back because you might be run over by about 3,000 middle school and high school students who will be pouring into the church. Thank you. Travel safely and God bless.